nice toasty fire. It's what turns a damp cave into a warm, cozy, happy home. Hi guys, thanks for joining me. My topic today is making fire with volcanic rock. But first I'm going to hike to a cave not far from here and we'll get set up. A lot of people think in order to make fire with a steel you need flint, a particular kind of chert, commonly known as flint. I think they need that specific rock. No, you don't. Today, in fact, we're looking at the most common rock in the Earth's crust, basalt, the former volcanic rock. Many of the rocks and boulders you see here are likely basalt that have to clear away moss or vegetable material to identify them. But the most common rock in the Earth's crust, I believe, basalt. A close second is granite. And I can make fire with both of those, which is not to say I could make fire with just any rock, but many of them, even perhaps approaching most. That's a good survival skill to have. I'm a caveman from way back, so I'm headed for my cave. Get set up there. Show you some rocks. Hey buddy, how you doing? Thanks for coming to visit. Hey, where are you going? It's nice to see you again. Hey guys, made it to my cave. Here's my piece of basalt. I've napped it to have a sharp edge. It's easy to do with basalt. That's a property of it is that it naturally breaks these very sharp edges beyond knife sharp. I could accidentally cut myself. So let's see what I can do with that. All right, guys, I'm trying to make room in here for you and me both. Got my little fireplace against the cave wall. And I got my piece of steel. That's my only man-made material I need. If I didn't have that, or I lost that striker, I could use my knife. It's got a carbon steel blade that will throw sparks. But I don't like to because the hard sharp stone beats up the back of the knife. So then, got my piece of basalt and that's identified, it's a black or dark gray rock with very fine grains. And when you break it, it makes these sharp edges. Then I have some birch bark I tore up, some twigs. And then this uh, bird's nest I made with uh, inner bark. So I'm going to try to throw some sparks with my steel and my basalt. And catch the spark on some punk wood. Just spongy wood, some people call it dry rot. And I charred it and then it is able to easily catch a spark. Okay, so let's try it. Find a sharp edge here. Just like that. Can you see the ember? Close my tin to smother if there's any other sparks in there. You know the embers it will smother it. There we go. Mess the light in there.
And there we are. It's what you can do with basalt, volcanic rock. Nice toasty fire. It's what turns a damp cave into a warm, cozy, happy home. I'm hiking back to my truck. But before I sign off, I just want to encourage you to experiment with the rocks you have in your area. And don't be thinking just because you don't have flint, you can't start a fire. If you can find flint, that's great. If there's not, I bet you can find something else. And I want you to know I'm not a geologist. Most of the people in the bushcraft and survival communities were not geologists. So what do we do? What have I been doing? Experimenting with so-called flint and steel with random rocks, different rocks, along the trail, along the campsite, identify them, learn what they do, and bring the information to you. But I'm here in New Hampshire and Maine, New England, Canada, that sort of area. I'm not familiar with uh, every area of the world. I'm not a globe trotter. You know, if I went to your area, I might be able to identify some rocks. Maybe I'd be lost, okay? And just these hardness scales, uh, scientific names, different things like that can throw people off. Pick up your rock and your piece of steel, knock them together. They get a tiny little spark. Well, that's encouraging. You break it open and then hit it against a sharp edge, you're going to get a fatter spark. And, you know, not everything has to throw these enormous showers of sparks in order to be useful to start a fire. So get out there and have fun. I'll be doing the same. I'll get back to you with another video just as soon as I can. The thief comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. John 10.10 10.